So one of the purposes behind Von Draggers is to connect to our roots, get back to our roots, our foundations, our traditions, our lineage, um, you know, like the things that make us us, right? And the, the traditions, maybe not traditions, but the old ways of doing things. And one of the ways that I have memories of that is uh, with several of the, the women in uh, my family and Pat's family. And I thought today, St. Patrick's Day, was the perfect day to start telling some of those stories. So I want to share with you today about my grandma, Jeanette. <laughs> this is one of my all-time favorite stories about her. So she delighted in being ridiculous on purpose. Um, so I also share that trait with her. And I'm really sad because these are supposed to light up, but the batteries are dead. So you just get to enjoy how ridiculous they are on lit. Um, <laughs> but so St. Paul, Minnesota has a big Irish uh, to do every St. Patrick's Day. There is a parade and every bar has bands and there's a one bar. I don't even know if it's still there, but one bar in particular called Halftime Rec. And they had an amazing pub band that would come every year. And so we went one year, I can't even remember exactly when it was, early 2000s, I suppose. Um, and a bunch of us cousins um, took grandma out. And so I'm trying to think how old she would have been then. I don't know, 80 something probably. Maybe, I'm guessing. Um, I don't do math quickly in my head or in public, so definitely not doing math recorded. <laughs> but we're at halftime rack. This band starts playing the song that everybody's probably heard. It's called Living Next to Alice. I think that's what it's called. Um, and my aunt Nan had gone along. Um, so her second to youngest daughter had gone along to chaperone because I think she was afraid that us, you know, young, crazy 20 somethings weren't going to take care of grandma, which is ridiculous because grandma can take care of herself. But anyhow, the song starts. And if you know the song, um, it's kind of slow in storytelling to begin with. And then the chorus, um, everybody fills in with this other part. So Nan's all worried. She's like micromanaging grandma and grandma's having fun with us. And I'll see if I can stitch in a picture here of grandma that night. She was drinking out of my cousin Tommy's flask. And it's one of my favorite pictures ever. I just absolutely love it. Um, and so Nan lean, their grandma leans over to Nan and says, Nan, who, who the fuck is Alice? <laughs> and Nan's like all beside herself. She's like, I thinking grandma's having a senile moment, I think, which was not ever the case. Grandma was never senile. Everything was on purpose and deliberate and she was sharp as a tack. And <laughs> Nan's just like all worried trying to figure out who Alice is. And then, you know, the crazy of the song kicks up and grandma starts belting out the who the fuck is Alice lines, which is really funny too, if you knew grandma, because she kind of faint, fainted, feigned this, um, like, very pure, very devout Catholic, and she never swore. And so it, it just was like this duality of of her s singing this aggressive pub song about who the fuck is Alice. So that's one of my all-time favorite stories about my grandma. And I wanted to share that with you today uh, on St. Patrick's Day. And I hope you have a great day and that nobody pinches you because you should be wearing your green. I don't know why she's leaving or where she's gonna go. I guess she's got